Okay, second question. Do you think Jesus is really the reason for the season? As you look at everything that's going on, um, how would you prove that to me? That Jesus is really the reason for the season? Well, you might say, well, go to church, and you'll hear the story about the birth of, G of Christ. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, you could hear about it there. Uh, but if I looked at your credit card bills, your credit card, you know, thing or whatever you call that thing, you know, the valuation of your credit card, the receipt or whatever, uh, would I assume that, wow, he spent $10,000. That's got to be all about Jesus. Um, uh, how about advertisement on TV? Promoting all the material clutter that you can buy and store away and that your kids don't like and don't respect and tear up the first day. You know, all of the, the advertisement about the material clutter you can buy, would that prove to me it's all about Jesus? You know, I, if an alien, well, okay, forget an alien. If Jesus dropped in for a visit, would he even be able to figure out that it's all about him? Good question. Third question, what are some of the negative things that you see about Christmas? What are some of the negative things that you see about Christmas? Well, actually, it starts with, with uh, Black Friday, uh, people being trampled to death. Now, obviously, when you see that, when you see those pictures of people jammed up like a herd of pigs or whatever, you know, getting ready to open the gate up and run through, you know it's not all about Jesus. I mean, you don't even have to have a lot of brain cells in, lined up in a row to figure out that's really not all about, all about Jesus. Okay, you got that one figured out. How about the accumulation of debt? Would that, you know, we're talking about negative things you see about Christmas. Uh, did you know that merchants make 50% of their yearly income at the Christmas season? Let me repeat that. Merchants make 50% of their yearly income during this season called Christmas. And of course, you see all the ads about Jesus at Christmas time. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, another thing I was unaware of the negative effects was severe depression and loneliness. Severe depression and loneliness. Now, you know, um, because some people don't have families, and all they can do is reminisce about the way it used to be. So severe depression and loneliness was something I was not aware of. Uh, dysfunctional family systems together. Now, again, I don't have to worry about this stuff because I, I haven't celebrated Christmas in over 40 years. But, but you know, dis, you know we've got to get Ch Chester the child molester. We've got to get him over. For, he's part of the family. He's part of the family. Just don't sit on his lap, children. I know he's going to come over dressed up in that Santa Claus suit, but don't you dare sit on his lap. And, you know, and, and besides, the Santa Claus thing, the Santa Claus thing, who, who's behind the Santa Claus outfit? You ever wonder about that? Is he wearing any underwear? You know, I was overly protective as, as a father for my daughter. You know, it's just a lot of things I didn't trust about our world, about our society. But, you know, not everything about Christmas is season is positive.